Man, that was kind of fitting of our season. Um, close, but not quite good enough. And, um, you know, there's a fine line between, and I think especially this year in this league, there, there's not a whole lot of difference between the top and the bottom. And, you know, it's a team that, that wins the close games, that protects their home court. And that's why North Dakota State and South Dakota are tied for the top. They both lost one home game, both to each other, and they won the, the, the most games that were went down to the wire. And um, I've tried to get that across to our guys the last couple of years that if you want to win or compete for conference championships, which we've done here for years, you have to you have to win your home games. Um, you know, I had Blake go back and, and look at our uh, home conference record, the, the, the 14 previous years that we played in the Midcon slash Summit. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't have him look at the two years that we played in the, in the Southland. But I think our record was like 87, 88, and 13. So we lost 13 home game conference games in 14 years, up to two years ago. And the last two years, we've lost nine. So. Uh, we have to get back to having pride in winning games inside the Maybe Center. This was this was a place that was tough for opponents to come here and get wins, and uh, obviously it hadn't been the case the last couple of years. So, uh, but yeah, you give a lot of credit to that team. They, that they're they're a, they're a veteran team. They uh, have guys that have, have played in the NCAA tournament. Um, they've won a conference championship. And, you know, they know how to win. And you know, that, that's why they're competing for a conference championship. Obviously not that much time to reflect here, but uh, as you look back on the season, for you personally as a coach looking at it uh, and how to improve, looking internally, what do you think you need to do to get the team as a whole in a position to compete better than they did this year? Well, the, um, that, you know, that's a, That's a good question. I mean, the, the, I think we need to get um, certain type of players that, um, and, and, and I'm sound like I don't want to sound like I'm throwing any of our players because I'm not. They, 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 they've given me everything they've uh, had. Uh, but you know, in spots we're a little bit small. You know, our guards were a little bit small. Um, that hurt us a little bit defensively. Um, we weren't as athletic this year as we've been in the past, and I, and I, I spoke on that with losing Javen, losing Daquan Jeffries, losing Chris Crawford. Um, those three would be would have been our three best athletes on the team. So, and they were bigger guards. Um, so, with, with saying that, we, we we feel good about the you know the three guys we signed this this fall, and uh, like I said, I'm heading out tomorrow to. Go see if we can sign a couple more guys this spring. Um, but I, I don't think we're that far off. I, I really don't. Um, uh, we we have good pieces in place. Uh, we just have to, have to add a couple. Should describe this team? I mean, I mean it, it's it's been very frustrating um, on the floor. I mean. This group of kids, it's, it's a, and we talked about it. They're, I mean, especially that, that senior class and AJ and Emmanuel. I mean, they're, they're great kids. I mean, five guys out there, they're all five graduating. Um, they've, they've done a lot of good things off the floor. We, we just haven't been able to uh, get the wins or have the season uh, the last couple of years like, we're expect, like we expect or like we're used to. And, um, 